first met Tom in 1975, uh, in the fall, my first year here. He and I were working together. Um, in fact, in the spring, I was an assistant coach for the baseball team with Tom. I learned from Tom, probably number one, the number of hours that have to be put in to be a successful coach. Tom's ahead of the curve. He's playing man zones and running four corner offenses uh, because he, he studied the game, just read books, went to conferences and loved what he was doing. And he loved uh, transferring that knowledge on to the players. And I think uh, one of the things that he did so well in transferring to the players was he, he was inspiring. Uh, the physical sacrifices that his players would make uh, were absolutely incredible. They just refused to be outplayed. And because he organized his defenses so well and he uh, inspired these guys to play so hard, we won championships against teams that, frankly, were better than us, you know, in terms of just pure talent. Um, Tom's teams were just incredibly hard to beat, and nobody liked to play them because when they left the court, <laughs> they were going to be drained. Uh, they had to pay for everything they got. Uh, because it was going to be so difficult to beat Tom's teams on defense. One of the gifts that, that Tom gave his players is that gift of understanding hard work. And I could name names of, of players who'd step forward and say, well, I learned to work hard because of Coach Genoine. And I carried that through life because I learned the price of success playing for for Coach Genoine, and that carried over into my career, my family, my faith. And that's what I keep coming back to, uh, is what he, what he gave to the players and how much he loved giving that to them. I think sometimes he doesn't even realize the gift that he gave to many of those kids. Coach always talked to us about, you know, knowing who those people were that you go into the trenches with when it, when life is hard. And, when, and you know, for him in that time, it, it was about the game that we were playing, right? But as we got older, it, it sure made sense that he was talking about life. And, you know, to this day, uh, Tom Genoine is one of those men that, that I know he'd be in a trench with me and I'd be in a trench with him. And I talked to my sons and daughters about that, is who are you surrounding your, yourself with? And, and can you count on them in those uh, moments in life that really matter? And those are lessons that, that coach taught that, that really stick out. Coach has always been there for me. Uh, you know, we, we, I say all the time, he, he raised me, coached me since the time we were in diapers. But really, I think I, I about from the time I was eight years old uh, until I was 17, he, he, he coached me, um, but not just in sports, but in life. It's about doing the right thing, uh, being a man of your word, people knowing they can count on you. And um he taught me that over and over again. And, and, and to this day, he's been that for me. And I would say even more so in the last 25 years of my life, like I don't see him on a daily basis like I did as a student. Um, but, you know, my father passed away at 27 years old. And to have somebody like Tom Genowine in my life and um, I, I, honestly, I, part of a special group of kids who went to Sacred Heart that, that could say they had Tom Genowine and Richard Bain are both in their life. And, 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 and Tom and, and Rich both that's up when my dad died. And, and so today, if I have to call Tom Genoine for anything, I call him last summer just to talk to him about a sports thing with one of my sons, just had questions on where I could get some video and things like that, that we could watch. He's always there for me. Um, and he'd be there for my kids too, if, if we needed, needed him to be. And, and he's always been like a dad that way. And I'm sure it's not just me. I know there's a lot of, a lot of young men that he coached over the years that if they need Tom Genoine, he's there. And that's, that's who he is. And, and, and those lessons then that he taught, uh, whether it was on the baseball field or on the basketball court, um, life is hard. And, you know, from, from losing my dad to uh, recently losing our daughter, you, you have to lean back into the things that you were taught at a young age. And, and, and for me, a lot of that was with, with Coach. I look back fondly on all of my memories with Coach 
genuine. Um, I mean, I was fortunate. I met him when I first came uh, in sixth grade. The PE coach there uh, played basketball for him in high school. Played baseball for him in high school. Uh, just you know, a great man, a great mentor, um, somebody who really instilled a good work ethic in all of us. Uh, he really knew how to coach up and uh, got the most out of every player. And then, you know, what I think I, I gained the most out of was the, the value of building relationships over uh, over a lifetime, you know, through sports. And uh, Coach Genoa really taught about life, but he was passionate about basketball and baseball. And Coach Genoa just focused on being honest with us. And then he always kept stats, too. You know, he always tracked stats weekly. We took pride in being one of the top teams in class one at the time um, with points allowed per game, rebounds, defensive rebounds, uh, turnovers. I think that's probably where I learned the most is the wins are the byproduct, you know, of, of the process. But again, he taught us how to win in life and everything that, you know, I do now as a coach, I learned from Coach Genoine. The main attributes I've always thought for Coach Genoine is He's one of the best I've ever seen at player development. You know, he knows how to take a kid who is willing to work hard and help them become a good player. You know, uh, Tom and I've talked about this often. There are other coaches who might be better game coaches, but I've never seen anybody better at uh, teaching young people the game of basketball and helping them uh, improve and reach their potential as players if they're willing to do their part and give the effort. Know that he's not going to do something shady to try to win the game, or he, you know, he's not going to let them get away with uh, giving less than what they're capable of giving. And if it means he's going to have to get on them, he'll do that. But uh, he is able to get on kids harder than other people might because A, they know what he's talking about, and B, uh, they know that he, that he cares about them and he's got their best interests at heart. I've had the privilege the last five or six years of uh, Coach Genoine and I coached junior high basketball together. And we had a lot of success and the kids were a pleasure to be around. And um, those, those will be great memories for me, being able to, to uh, coach those teams with Tom and the fact that we've kind of grown older as, as real true friends, that, that's kind of a special thing. Yeah, you always hear that life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. But with Tom Genuine, that's not true. You know exactly what you're going to get. And that's a man of character, someone of integrity, a man of honor, and someone that's going to do the right thing even when no one's watching. I think about through his 41 years of uh, just a – the number of uh, young men and young women that he served as a mentor and a role model to. I'm, uh, I'm just glad that I was one of them. It was my first job, and uh, I had left and come back, left and come back. Uh, some people say I was kind of like a virus. You know, you, it, it's always there, but you always, it always comes back. And uh, uh, Sacred Heart will, uh, I, I really feel like the good Lord wanted me to, to be here. And I think that was one of the reasons why I was always drawn back to it. Um, I wanted my kids to graduate from here, in, in which they did. And uh, it, it will always be special to me. The great thing about here, about Sacred Heart, to me is it's K through 12. So uh, I've been here so long that I had kids in kindergarten and then I, I had them when they were seniors in high school. And then, uh, and then a lot of times I had their parents too. <laughs> so uh, uh, I'm old. I got the opportunity to coach my own sons but in the 90s. And uh, that was something that I, I've always wanted to do. And uh, those are just lifelong memories for me. This is the place that I enjoyed the most. And I felt like I was, I w I was used the most, you know, for the, for the greatest benefit for not, not only the school, but for, but more importantly for me. Um, that's one of the reasons why I like Sacred Heart is because um, it did as much for me as I, as I did for it. So the, the kids were always, we had such good kids and they worked so hard uh, for, you know, for me. 
and uh, I've, I've always appreciated that. Sacred Heart will always be special to me. Um, and the thing that, uh, that was really good for me was I never felt like it was work. I love to get up and come here every day. And I, I love my job and I love the place, I really did. And uh, so that was, a, it was a, a, a God knew what he was doing.